Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Kefea triple screen laptop screen extender. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. We have some specs on the side, but I think they're listed on the back also. Let's take a look. So here we have the product parameters. So this is a 1920 by 1080p screen, and there's actually two of those. Screen size is 15.6. IPS wide angle viewing. Now a unique feature of this is it has a built-in battery bank. It's a 10,000 milliamp hour battery and you can see the USB rates there. And this comes with the monitor, USB-C cables, bag, power bank, power adapter, USB flash disk. So let's get this open. So here's the case. It looks like it's already in the case. So you can see that there. It has a little pocket on the front with some Velcro. And then it has handles that will come out. So that's very nice set that aside. So it looks like we have kind of a quick start guide and a manual. Let's take a quick look at those. So a packing list. So it unfolds, it expands in the middle, has a little kickstand. Here's the battery. Looks like the battery has a capacity on it. Looks like the battery connects to this with pogo pins. I'll show you what those are. So this is talking about the USB port. Looks like it uses USB-C display port. So you'll find that on a lot of like MacBooks. I think Surface Chromebooks a lot of times will use those also. Like driver installation. And here we have the manual. So we have the specs again. Looks like pretty much the same stuff. Looks like it gets a little bit more into the software with that. Okay, so here are the cables. We have a right angle USB-C cable, USB-C power adapter, and output on that is five volts at three amps, nine volts at 2.22 amps, or 12 volts at 1.67 amps. And that it says it's a PD fast charger. Here's the power bank itself, and these are those pogo pins. We have power, type C, and USB A. So here it says double click the button to looks like turn off the pogo pin connection. Hmm. And there's plastic here. Let me pull that off. Here's flash drive, USB A to USB C power only, and we have a second USB C cable. Let's get this out of the way. Let's pull this out. I'm going to do a little wider view because we're going to need the width. <laughs> so this has two 15 inch displays. So there's a kickstand here that pops out. And here we have the power. So that presses in and rotates. It actually just goes up and down with a little toggle. It's like power there, USB type C here. This is going to open. So this will rotate out. Now I'll pull this apart. It doesn't take a lot of force. It'll open the other side up. Okay, and actually I will get the cords connected first. So I'll go back here. I'm going to take the power bank, place that in there. So I'll press the button here. And we're at 75% charge on the battery. So I'm going to take the cable and I'll plug this right angle plug into the type C here. Okay, and I can set this back up. And I'm going to be using this with my MacBook Pro with M4 processor. So I'll swing this open. And the MacBook will go in the middle, like so. Butt it up there, and then I'll close in on it. So it's a little bit wider than my screen here. You can see there's maybe another inch on the side. So if you had a wider laptop, that would close in on it all the way. So now I can come in here and I can plug this into my computer. Although it wants the software installed first, so I need to do that. So there are some covers here. I'll pull those off. Now it wants to allow to connect accessories. I'll hit allow. Now the software came on a USB-A drive. I don't have one. So to hook it up to this, I'll need an adapter, but I'm just going to copy it to my network and then get it on this computer. Okay, so I just airdropped the software to this computer. I'll drag it to application folder. Now I can open it up. It's asking if I want to open it, I'll say okay. Would I like to auto update? I'll say yes. So it's asking for permission. I'll say yes for now. Oh, it wants to install update. Okay, so I've installed the software. It automatically updated, but now it's ready to go. 
So here it says mirrored display. Let's click that. And now we have the mirrored display. So it looks like we can use this to go between mirrored and extended display. Let's see what this is set up as. So if I go to the left, it goes. Doesn't seem to be going to the left. Let me go into my display settings. And I'll go to a range. So here I have the two extended displays and they're showing as my screen and the two extended displays. So I'll move my screen in the middle or I'll move one of these to the outside. Let's see if I can. There we go. Let's see if that was right. Okay, so I have it backwards. <laughs> okay, so now I have it set up with all three screens. Let's zoom that out. And here we can see all three. Now the nice thing about this with that battery pack, it's going to be powering the displays. So it's not going to suck down the battery on my computer. So these can be flattened all the way out. Now I do have some glare on here on camera, but in person they look fine. So with a setup like this, you can have different things on each screen or you can span something across all three screens. So I can open up VS Code. I could have that on one monitor. I could have my browser in the middle and on the next monitor, I could say have a second website open or maybe some notes or an IDE or whatever. But this gives you lots of flexibility here. So I currently have three monitors and each monitor has its own software on it. Now, if you want to run something on all three displays, like a massive spreadsheet, you can do that. So here I have a spreadsheet, I have LibreOffice. Now, if I drag it to the left, when I get it over there, it's going to stay on the left. If I click on it, it's not going to show here because each display is its own space. But if you go into your control panel, you want to go to displays, and this is on a Mac, PC might have a similar feature, but I'm going to go to desktop and dock, and then scroll all the way down, and there's going to be an option. It looks like it's second from the bottom. It says displays have separate spaces. I want to turn that off. Now it says requires logout, so I'll have to log out. So I've logged out and I've logged back in. Now if I drag this to the left, you're going to see it's on both displays now. So I can go here, I'll double tap that menu bar, it's full screen here. Now I can drag the right side of this and I'll drag it across all three. So now we have A, B, C, and on the right we have A, X. So we have this massive spreadsheet across all three. And of course, if I scroll down on here, it's kind of hard to see this is blank, but it can go through the rows, you can go across. So if you like to do massive spreadsheet work, something like this is great. But the main thing to remember is to go into your system control panel and switch off having a space on each display. So this does seem to require that external software. And I think the reason it is, is because you only have to have one cable here to run both displays. Oftentimes on a triple display, you have to have one cable for each monitor. This is a much cleaner setup and it makes it especially clean since it has that battery in the back. Now let's look at the settings on this. I'll go back to that power button and I'll press up and that gives us the volume. I'll press down and we have the brightness. So that little toggle, if you want to do the volume, you press up first and then you press up or down to adjust the volume. Now, I don't know if the speakers are set up to go through this yet, but to do that, you want to go into your control panel. We'll go to sound. And then your sound output, you want to change to, it looks like SMI USB audio. So let me get something up here to play. So it sounds like the audio is coming out of the speaker on the monitor. So there's the speaker. So the volume's not super loud on there, but it does have speakers on it. Now, if we press in on that, we're going to have a little display here. It's kind of hard to see on camera and I could zoom in, but this is going to be very similar to the on-screen display on any other monitor. It has brightness, contrast. You can turn different modes on and off. And I also adjusted the brightness here. So now this is at full brightness. Let me look and see what the battery says. So the battery is currently at 72%. So if we're done, we can just unplug this, 
close our laptop, move that out of the way, and I'll come over here and I'll move this screen in. You can see it does not fit in there. I'll just push it out. It'll clip in, slide it back, do the same here. Unplug the power. Hold that down. And I can put this in the case. I'll take the battery off. And that just magnets on the back there. And then we can place the battery and the cord. in the little pouch there. So we have a small little package to carry there. So that's the Kifeya triple screen laptop extender. So if you're the kind of person that likes to use multiple screens, but you have to work on the go, I think this can be a great option. This is super easy to use with that power bank and the single cable to hook it up to your computer. This would be great for people working with large spreadsheets or developers where you want to have multiple screens open. And if you've ever used multiple screens on a desktop computer or a traditional multiple screen, this is going to work the same way once you get that software installed. But as far as I know, you install that software so you can use that single cable, which makes it really easy to set up. And I had the most basic setup here with the battery and the single cable. Now you might want a second cable then to charge your laptop too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. But thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.